He doesn't look much like a vicar, but the Reverend Paul Sinclair, seen here in his leathers, is in the business of giving fellow bikers a memorable send-off. He feels that for those who live and die for their motorbikes, their final journey should be on a bike, or at least bolted to the side of one. But while en route to the crematorium in Somerset, he was pulled over by the traffic police and told he and his pillion passenger should be wearing a crash helmet. Initially, I wasn't too annoyed uh, because to be fair, the man has to do his job, and if we'd had an accident and he hadn't stopped us, he might have got the blame. The problem was that after he saw the road tax, he then had no reason to keep us, and we were on our way to a funeral, but the two officers insisted in keeping us where we were so they could take photographs and do further inquiries. Paul Sinclair is adamant the motorbike hearse is actually classified as a car. The police are still unsure. Either way, it made him and the deceased late for the crematorium. Well, as you can see, this is not a slow bike, so we made up good time. Uh, I made up my mind I wouldn't stop again, even if it was for speed, and I made sure I got the deceased uh, his appropriate uh, send-off. I think we might have been a minute late, that was all. And how fast were you going then? Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Today, the unusual hearse was not stopped on its way to a crematorium in Bristol. The family and friends of 46-year-old Andrew Dyer felt that he would have appreciated a special biker's funeral. He loved his bikes, he loved racing, anything to do with bikes, the whole scene. Um, and I think this is a very, he would, this is what he would have liked, and I think um, he was going to be happy. Avon and Somerset police say they are still considering whether to prosecute Paul Sinclair for not wearing a crash helmet. The family have told me that, uh, or told the funeral director, apparently he'd never been stopped by the police in his life, so they finally got him. Paul Sinclair will know within two weeks if he's in trouble. Until then, he will continue to provide his funeral service without a crash helmet. Derek Tedder, HTV News, Bristol.